Hello everyone. Well, I wasn't actually interested in buying this particular vacuum cleaner when I first saw it on eBay. And I don't think anybody else was really because it didn't sell the first time it was put up. And I wasn't really interested in it. It wasn't very interesting to me. But I thought, well, it's a Hoover. I can already see there's a broken part, which, uh, <laughs> Oh dear. Oh well. Anyway, the reason I decided to go for this Hoover Turbo Power Junior, I was on a parts website and I came across this, a brand new hood for this very model. And because I saw this for about a tenner, I thought, oh well, I'll put a bid in on this Turbo Power. If I win it, at least I can make part of it look new. But what's a little bit concerning for me at the moment can you see the pedal there isn't quite straight right and there's actually no no packaging whatsoever so if the wheels have survived this I'll be very surprised but anyway and I think that uh, pedal has suffered in the post in fact it'd be easier I think folks if I pull it out this way Oh, well, it's a good job I bought that uh, complete hood because this one is in, it looked better, actually. In fact, it, it looks better in my viewfinder, but in real life it looks quite bad. But, woo, you can see how the uh, headlamp has yellowed slightly as well we can see the difference between the two and I'm assuming that this is a Turbo Power Plus although it doesn't actually say Turbo Power Plus on it it's the correct colour though so I've no qualms about putting this onto here in fact this was listed under the model number I searched this website for this model and I was very surprised to see they had a hood for it and it's not a generic black hood as you normally get sent if they've got parts left this is the correct colour. So I will be just swapping like for like. Anyway, I'll put that to one side and we'll have a look at uh, mm, what's being damaged on this machine. It's quite mucky. Well, it's not, it's not filthy, filthy. It's not. Ah, right. Ah, well, that seems, yeah. I think that's fixable. I don't think it's broken. It just happened to be a bit, a bit wonky. Look, it goes wonky. But yeah, as soon as I raise this, it goes wonky. Oh, it's the wheels though. It's the wheels. They're very worn. It's a well-used cleaner, not well-loved, well-used. Oh, but at least the wheels have survived. I think I've got a pair of black generic wheels that I could have used. You can tell, I think that comes off the glamour cap, as it's known. Um, yeah, it could be worse. Anyway, folks, before we take a bit of a closer look at this cleaner, I will uh, assemble the handle and give it a bit of a wipe over, bit of a buff, and then we'll see if this Hoover Turbo Power actually works. Okie dokie. Well, I've given it a bit of a wipe down. It's not filthy it's obviously needing a bit of TLC the bag needs washing definitely and I suppose if I didn't have a replacement hood I've just as you can see it's looking better just after a very brief quick clean I've not got all the paint off but a little bit more time I do have a new lens um, but it doesn't actually say turbo power on it so it would be exact I do have a chassis as well for a turbo power so I might as well, before we have a bit of a closer look at this pretty basic soft bag, 80s Hoover upright, we'll um, plug it in and see how rough it sounds. Turn down the top hook and surprisingly, the lower cord hook, these always break. Ah, oh. <laughs> well, it hasn't broken, but it's, it's lost its little springy thing. Should have a little metal spring to snap it shut. 
probably, well I know I've got spare ones of these. I've probably got in my little stash somewhere. But anyway, at least that bit's not broken. I have some generic black ones to replace it with. Because you can't get the correct colours, you see. Okay, well, I'll switch the cleaner on at the handle at the back here. Put it to one side. And we'll see what this motor sounds like. Well, before I plug this cleaner in, it does have a rather nice MK fused plug, which is, uh, I think it's age appropriate for sort of the mid to late eighties. I think this cleaner is from. Okay, well, let's have a go then. Here's this Hoover Turbo Power. In fact, before I switch on, I will just raise the height of the cleaner. There we go. Okay folks, is this going to be a dud or is it going to sound like it should? Oh, oh dear. Right, it sounded okay to start with, but then it started making a bit of a squealing noise, didn't it? Um, I'll try it again. a bit of TLC. I think the squeaking was because, oh, it's marked the carpet, I think. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. This is not the first time a vacuum's marked the carpet. It should come off. Let's give it a quick push. As you can see, it won't stay upright. I need to fiddle about with that. There's something there. It's okay now. It's definitely something amiss. If there's a part of the chassis broken, I'm not bothered. Because as I said, I've got at least two replacements. So, we'll have a closer look at this cleaner. I'm gonna have to take the hood off. Um, I think it'll need a new belt, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I didn't uh, pay a huge amount for this particular turbo power. Right, I've uh, unplugged. We'll turn this cleaner over and have a look underneath. It'll be the same as all the other turbo powers I've shown you. The turbo power ones are needs a new agitator, that's for sure, but I have at least one. Probably got two or three of those actually. Well, according to this label, this cleaner has been packed tested but uh, in 2004 although they don't mean anything because you can buy those labels I think screw fix or tool station sell them so anyone can buy a roll of those labels and put anything they want on them without doing the testing most of the second-hand cleaners I buy as you know don't have that label on it's only if you buy them from say a charity shop or uh, thrift stores, you call them in the US, they have to t have them tested before they sell them. Right, let's open up. Ugh. You know, it isn't, it isn't bad, is it? I mean, it's not caked in muck. But these brushes are very, very soft and very sparse in places. The belt doesn't seem too bad. But obviously I will be replacing the belt. I'm replacing the activator body at least. The bearings, I've, I've got some more bearings but that yeah that's that's way past its best isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> you can hardly see those brushes. But it will be I expect a genuine Hoover activator. I expect it's the only one it's had in it. Yeah, it's not too bad at all, really. So, I'm just going to take the hood off because I need to see what's up with the old 
head or the handle release. Just two screws are needed to be undone. And of course, yes, I, I didn't notice, but I'm pretty sure the headlight bulb wasn't working, but I wasn't expecting it to. This is what you'd have to do if you want to replace the headlight. Undo the base plate, take out the activator, and then there's two screws either side. I can't get that one out. Hang on, let's just put these other screws to one side. Turn the cleaner over. Some muck will fall out, obviously. Uh, need to remove the height control knob. Ooh, it's a bit stiff. There we are. And off comes the filthy, filthy hood. While I've got the hood off, we can take a look here at the rating plate. So this is Hoover model U1222, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 410 watts. Serial number U1222, 71204187. Trademarks of Hoover PLC, made by Hoover PLC, Great Britain. So the model is U1222. I think this is from 1987, I think. And under the hood, we've got a dusty, dirty motor and a bulb. And I'm going to clean up just to confirm that the bulb has gone. Oh, don't know if it has actually. Oh, is it? Or has it? Doesn't. Hmm. I don't think the bulb headlight worked. I wasn't really looking for that. I better not make too much a uh, mess on this carpet. Um, I'll quickly back out though some of the dust. Just use a just use a wet wipe. I think this motor will have to come out and be greased at uh, the very least. Look at that! <laughs> what a difference! Of course, it's just a combination of dust and carbon dust that's coating the chassis, and I think the chassis anyway. Oh crikey, that's red! <laughs> I couldn't see that that was red because often these are black or grey, but this is a red one. I wouldn't have known before I got the old wet wipe on it, would you? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I've got another, a new turbo power motor. Should I want to waste it on this? I don't think I'd waste it on this particular one, to be honest, because it needs, uh, well, the bag I've noticed has got some holes in it as well. It'll look better once the bag's been cleaned. But yeah, that'll do. Just a quick wipe up there. Quick wipe up the side. Now I've noticed, pretty sure that the chassis is broken. But as I said, I've got, I know I've got at least two because I did buy another sash, uh, sashy. <laughs> I did buy another chassis when I bought the new motor hood for this cleaner just because it was so cheap and it was under a tenner. Um, and you can never have too many. You can never have enough. Yeah broken you can never have enough turbo power chassis right there we go folks that'll do let's dry it a bit now i'm drying it with a cloth that's had wax polish on it so that's uh, <laughs> not going to help i did i did bring some uh, kitchen roll in i don't know where i've put it i can't see it at the moment okay so that looks a little bit better doesn't it well here is the damage it's not much damage hang on is it damaged yes I, that shouldn't move that bit there look it's loose 
and that is why we're having trouble with that going a bit skew if. Hmm, I think it's I think it's broken. Yeah, because something's broken off it anyway. Or oh, is it? I don't know. That could uh, warrant another investigation. This seems a bit does seem a bit loose compared to the uh, the other side. That's that's firmer. Oh, crikey, I hope it's not going to mark this carpet. But yeah, that'll be all right. Uh, might not need a new chassis, I'll find out. Um, yes, yeah, a bit later on when I have time to do this properly, I've, uh, I'll just undo these two screws here, either side, that hold these metal brackets, and then I can take the, the uh, bag compartment away from the chassis, and I'll be able to have a closer look at that. So it's not, yeah. If it was broken and I didn't have a spare one, I possibly would have complained, but I'm not going to bother, you know. I like a quiet life. I will complain if something is very broken. But um, yeah, for stuff like this, and considering it was not a lot of money, I'm not fast. I'm not gonna be bothered about it. But now, as you can see, I'm putting on the new, Hood, which does make it look a lot better. Let's just give that a rub. Okay, that's a new hood on. Naturally, this this will be a project for some other time. Whoops, a daisy. Oh, there's a bit of yes, a bit of muck in there. So I'll just put the two screws on. We'll see if the headlamp works. I, w I can't remember if it did or not. It didn't. Um, it might have been that dusty that it, you couldn't see the light through it, perhaps. I do have spares of those as well, of course. I believe they take the same lamp as a Kirby. Right. Well, I won't show you the whole process of putting this back together. I'll just do it off camera. And then we'll just have a look at the rest of this cleaner. Okay then, well, there you go, a little bit better. Obviously I've not replaced anything yet. I have to find them. I do have lots and lots of parts stored away, but it's uh, finding out where they are. This will be another one that's put to the sort of back of the pile for now. But there you go, with its new hood. Looks a lot better, yeah. Still haven't fixed that. So yeah, the chassis will be replaced. I do have a spare furniture guard or a couple, but they're in the black color. So this isn't bad. It's got paint on it, but it'll clean up when I have spend some more time on it. But yeah, that <laughs> certainly looks better. Now I'm pretty sure that this, well, fairly sure that this is an electricity board exclusive because I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, I've, I could check my brochures. I don't think the Hoover Turbo Power Plus, the soft bag version, or did it have a headlight? This is certainly the right color scheme for an electricity board exclusive. And there will be a, a correct term for this color scheme as well, but I can't, for the life of me, remember what it is. So obviously this has a soft covering over the paper bag, which makes it lighter than the hard bag versions. But this, little bit more deluxe than the original Turbo Power Junior because we have here an adjustable air freshener control. I can't have, I can't smell anything. There could well be an air freshener in there, but uh, the smell has long since gone. You're supposed to be able to adjust this, you know, to vary the fragrance, but that <laughs> didn't do anything. It smelled the same, whatever setting you had it on. And if we turn the clean around, we've got little spring to hold the bag upright. The wheels need, need a bit of oil, don't they? Squeak, squeak. On off switch is just under here. And you've got the top cord hook that rotates to release the cable in one go. And of course, at the back of the bag, we have a zip, which works quite well. 
and we do have what seems to be genuine good we've also got the clip because these bags could be emptied and reused but obviously the more you did that the more they became clogged up and the efficiency of the bag would be impaired yes it's genuine look but when I use this properly after a refurb I'll be putting one of the H18 fleece bags in they're much larger they have the correct size collar though they are much bigger but they they do keep the du dust in far better than these paper bags and of course here we've got the bag support tube dusty as one would expect oh and there's a bit of muck in the bottom hang on I've still got my SIBO to hand let's vacuum that out Just give it a bit of a, a bit of a quick clean up. Yeah, the bag has got quite a few holes in it. Now, I don't know. I can't remember how you got to the. Ah, yes, it's up here. Just have to unhook the bag, and we should just be able to see. The receptacle, can you just about see that folks? It's a little receptacle for the circular. Where does that go in? The circular air freshener. Not really sure how that's supposed to fit in. I, I will have an instruction book, I think. Anyway, it fits in there. There, just that thing there, fits in there somehow. There's no point in fitting an air freshener before it's been refurbished. These cleaners, you know, cheap, well, fairly cheap. Um, obviously the cheapest in the turbo power range. There was only, I think, 10 pound difference normally between the soft bag and the hard bag. Sometimes even less than 10 pound difference. So why wouldn't you go for a hard bag? But I think the soft bag versions appealed to the older consumer who wanted something more like their traditional Hoover Junior or Senior. And when they saw a cloth bag, they'll think, and it's got Hoover on it, they'll think, oh, I don't want one of those newfangled hard bag models. I like a zip. And I suppose, I don't know how much it filters, but the extra layer of cloth will act as a filter. Can you imagine a brand new version of this for someone who just wanted a basic, very good carpet cleaner? Make this material HEPA material and obviously put a fleece bag in it and some other upgrades, LED lights and you'd have a modern lightweight carpet cleaner but people just people don't want this sort of thing obviously collectors want this sort of thing but then on the whole people would not be interested in buying this but yeah with the new hood it looks very good a wash of the bag and uh, obviously replacement chassis and a bit of a clean be a nice sort of a nice afternoon i think i could spend with this just pottering about bringing this cleaner back to life. Okay, we'll give it another quick push. It's not gonna make any difference because there's no new belt in it and no new agitator. But I uh, just wanna see if that headlight bulb worked. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work on this plush carpet because of the belt. The belt is, uh, is kaput. A new belt and, you know, you wouldn't hear that noise. I think the motor, I think, apart from the bearings sounding dry, it's not bad. But look, the headlight did work. I didn't notice. I'll check when I'm editing this video. When I first switched this on, I didn't notice the headlight actually working but that's possibly because it's absolutely covered in black dust. A 
I think a lot of that squeaking could possibly be from the uh, activator and not the motor. The motor doesn't sound bad. It does sound how I'd expect it to sound. But anyway, there we go. That's today's video. Nothing exciting, but it's a Hoover from the 80s and a Hoover from the 80s made in Cambuslang, Scotland is totally superior, in my opinion, to a Hoover made now. Hoover in the UK are now owned by a Chinese company. And I know in the USA, your Hoover is owned by a company based in Hong Kong. So the legacy of Hoover, well, the name still stands in the vacuum world, doesn't it? But even though this, the quality of this was nothing like the ones they produced, you know, in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, even the 70s, the quality did start degrading, I would say, in the 80s, late 70s, 80s. More plastic was introduced to make the machines lighter, cheaper to produce. Corners were cut, but still, when this machine was in the shops, if you just wanted a no-frills basic cleaner and you had mainly carpets, it would have been a good machine to go for. And of course, you can buy the optional tool kit that fits with the pan converter for all your above floor cleaning. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Don't forget, thumb up, subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new floor care video. So until then, it's goodbye for me and goodbye from the Hoover Turbo Power Plus.